headed towards either super intelligence or civilization ending. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Far. As the algorithms and the hardware improve, that digital intelligence will exceed biological intelligence by a substantial margin. By 2027, quantum computing grows terrifyingly powerful, with the market skyrocketing to $7.6 billion. These super machines, way faster than today's computers, could break our best codes, making data security a big scare. With giants like IBM planning a 4,000 qubit monster by 2025, our secrets from personal info to national security might not be safe anymore. Quantum computing is bursting onto the scene, no longer just a quiet murmur from stories of the future. By 2027, it promises to bring changes so big, our current world will look very different. Imagine artificial intelligence that doesn't just learn, but evolves rapidly, exploring areas we've never even thought about. This change isn't simply a small step, it's more like a huge jump into uncharted territory. It's obvious. I'm really quite close to, I'm very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. You've expressed your reservations about AI and your fears about that. Yeah, I just think it's, the singularity is probably the right word because we just don't know what's going to happen um, once uh, there's intelligence substantially greater than that of a human brain. Yeah. The combination of quantum computing and AI is like opening a box full of surprises where the outcomes exceed anything we could even imagine. AI is much more advanced than people realize and the pace of progress is much greater than people realize. You know, it'd be fairly obvious if you saw a robot walking around talking and behaving like a person, you're like, whoa, that's like, what, what's that? You know, that would be really obvious. What's not obvious is a huge server bank in a dark vault somewhere with an intelligence that's potentially vastly greater than what a human mind can do. I mean, its eyes and ears would be everywhere. Every, every camera, every microphone, every device that's network accessible. That's what it, really what AI means. It's not like a robot running around. The robots would simply be, they'd be like a finger of, of the AI. By 2027, we expect a world where machines can think, predict, and maybe even understand things in ways that are a bit scary. This change is so deep and happens so quickly, it's as if we're seeing the world transform right before our eyes, making us wonder about our place in this new era of smart machines. As the boundaries between human and machine intelligence gets blurry, the future is both exciting and a tad terrifying. We're on the brink of a new technological era, looking into a future that will reshape our world in ways that we're just starting to understand. This is more than a small advancement. It's a huge leap into a future where the usual rules of computing don't apply. We are entering the era of the quantum computing revolution, a major shift that's set to change industries, redefine innovation, and solve mysteries we've only dreamed about. I am concerned about um, certain directions that AI could take that would be not good for the future. The, the, I mean, it, it, I think it'd be fair to say that like not all AI futures are benign, not not all. Okay. Um, and and so if you have something, if if this if we create some digital superintelligence that exceeds us in every way by a lot, it's very important that that be benign. Um, it just becomes a very unstable situation. I think if you've got any um, any incredibly powerful AI, you just don't know who's who's going to control that. So it's not as though I think that the risk is that the AI would develop a will of its own right off the bat. I think it's more that's, uh, the concern is that some, someone um, may use it in a way that is bad. Um, or, or, and even if they weren't going to use it in a way that's bad, that somebody could take it from them and use it in a way that's bad. That, that I think is quite a big danger. In the world of numbers and solid facts, the growth of the quantum computing market is incredibly impressive. For example, in 2023, the market was already valued at $840.37 million. But that's just the start. Hold on tight, because by 2032, this market is expected to skyrocket to $8,208.89 million. 
That's not just growth. That's a massive burst of potential, growing at 28.8% each year, constantly pushing the limits of what we thought was even possible. But there's even more to this story. Different experts, using their data-driven insights, have noticed another trend. They've observed that in 2022, the quantum computing market was worth $717.3 million. Looking ahead to 2023, they expected this number to jump to an incredible $6,528.8 million. This shows a huge increase, with a growth rate of 32.1%, illustrating a market that's not just growing, but exploding with possibilities. This isn't just about numbers getting bigger. It's about a major change that's redefining computing itself. Quantum computing isn't just another tech gadget. It's a groundbreaking change, flipping our understanding upside down and opening doors to new possibilities that were once only imagined in science fiction. We're looking at solving challenges that current computers can't handle, making breakthroughs in medicine, finance, and many other areas. As this quantum tide rises, it's not only for tech enthusiasts and statisticians to notice. This revolution is for everyone. It's for the dreamers, the creators, the problem solvers. It's for those who gaze at the stars and wonder. For those who see the future as a wide open space of possibilities. So, as we find ourselves at the beginning of this quantum era, let's not just observe, let's jump in. Let's embrace this change. Because the quantum revolution isn't just on its way, it's already here. Transforming our reality and inviting us all to join in this amazing journey into the future. Welcome to the quantum age, a time of change, limitless potential, and incredible leaps into the unknown. The future is quantum, and it's unfolding right in front of us. Back in 2022, a significant achievement was made in the University of Chicago. Researchers there managed to send entangled quantum bits, or qubits, through a special cable linking different parts of a quantum network. This was a key moment as research in quantum computing picked up speed, drawing interest and investments from big tech companies like IBM, Google, and Microsoft, as well as numerous startups focused on developing the hardware and software for quantum technology. Countries around the world are not just watching the quantum computing race, they're actively investing huge sums of money into it. China is leading the charge by investing a whopping $15 billion. Following closely behind are the European Union with $7.2 billion, the United States with $1.3 billion, and the United Kingdom with $1.2 billion. And both India and Japan are pledging $1 billion each. The business sector is increasingly drawn to the potential of quantum computing. In the year 2021, startups focusing on this technology attracted over $1.7 billion in investments, which is more than double the amount raised in the previous year. A report by McKinsey highlights that startups specializing in software are growing faster than other sectors in the quantum field. A survey led by Capgemini shows that business leaders are taking active steps towards integrating quantum computing into their operations. Some are already experiencing with quantum applications, and many are planning to implement this technology in significant projects over the next three years. Companies are not just passively observing. They're actively preparing by building specialized teams, brainstorming ideas, experimenting with quantum hardware and simulators, and creating innovative applications. They're gearing up to fully embrace the potential of quantum computing. The race to achieve quantum supremacy is more than just a competition in technology. It represents a fundamental shift that's set to redefine the future of artificial intelligence. The stakes in this race are incredibly high, and the potential outcomes are even more significant. The year 2024 has been a significant breakthrough in quantum computing. Atom Computing has introduced a quantum computer with an impressive capacity of 1,225 qubits, nearly three times more powerful than IBM's previous leading model, Osprey. This development marks our entry into a new era of computing. However, the focus in the field of quantum computing is evolving. The competition is no longer just about the number of qubits, but also about the quality of those qubits. Industry leaders are now prioritizing the reduction of errors and practical usability over simply increasing the number of qubits. This shift from focusing on quantity to prioritizing quality represents a crucial and somewhat uncertain change. It reflects the maturation of the field and its focus on addressing real-world issues and enhancing operational efficiency. 
As the industry progresses, it faces the challenge of turning complex quantum theories into tangible, practical applications. One of the most pressing concerns in this journey is data security. There's a growing worry that future quantum computers could potentially break the encryption methods that protects our data today. This concern is not just theoretical. There's a real risk that quantum computers might crack widely used encryption algorithms like RSA or ECC. This risk compels organizations of every size and sector to reevaluate their security strategies and adopt encryption methods that can withstand quantum attacks. Adapting to quantum-resistant encryption is not just advisable, it's essential for maintaining security in the face of evolving threats. The risk landscape is changing, with the possibility of hackers and hostile nations capturing, storing, and later decoding encrypted data. In the near future, we can expect an exciting development. Next year, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, plans to introduce the fourth phase of their innovative project, the post-quantum algorithms. These advanced algorithms will mark the beginning of an era of ultra-secure encryption, transforming how we protect our data. These advanced encryption methods are expected to become an integral part of essential technology libraries, such as LibSodium, providing developers with powerful tools to secure data. Leading technology companies like Cloudflare and Signal are already incorporating these robust encryption methods into their systems. However, adopting these advanced security measures widely won't happen overnight. It's a gradual process, one that even the White House is endorsing and supporting. To speed up this transition, a significant event, perhaps reminiscent of the urgency during the Y2K situation, might be necessary to encourage the widespread adoption of these advanced security measures. In this changing environment, there's a growing need for skilled cybersecurity professionals who can guide organizations through the complexities of these new digital threats. The world of quantum computing is often misunderstood and surrounded by myths. Contrary to popular belief, quantum computing is not a far-off dream that's only meant for future generations. It's a present reality, showing capabilities that far surpass traditional computing methods. The versatility of quantum computers is also frequently underrated. These machines are not limited to performing single specific tasks. They're proving to be extremely versatile. Initially thought to be most useful for business applications, quantum computing has unexpectedly become a key player in solving complex scientific problems. It's being used to unravel the complexities of particle physics at institutions like CERN and to transform our understanding of the universe. History has shown us time and time again that when innovative tools are in the hands of brilliant minds, the potential for discovery and advancement is limitless. Quantum computing is no mere theoretical concept. It's a driving force of transformation, redefining the limits of what we once thought was possible. Quantum computing is like a wave, touching and changing different work areas. In the money world, big banks and trading groups are using this new tech to get better at picking investments and finding fraud. In medicine, it's changing how we find new drugs because it can solve big problems very fast. Companies that want to protect the environment are working with big names like BMW and Airbus to find new ways in making materials and energy solutions that don't harm the planet. Quantum computing is not just changing how we do things, it's also helping us understand how AI makes choices. This is important because we want AI to be clear and reasonable. Looking to the future, people who want to know a lot about quantum computing, like Yuval Boger from Quera Computing, think 2024 will be a big year. We are moving from using basic bits of quantum computing to using more advanced and error-free versions. This is a big change. It means quantum computing will be more stable and accurate. This is not just a small update. It's a huge change that will open new doors in the world of quantum computing. Quantum computing is making waves in the science world too. It promises a future where computers can solve very tough problems super fast. Experts believe that when old and new computing systems come together, it will be a huge step forward in what technology can do. Countries all over the world are getting ready for this. European nations want to work with big tech companies in the US to lead their quantum projects. Everyone realizes that working together is better than working alone if we want to be the best in quantum computing. The international competition is like a big chess game with each country trying to be the best. We all know 
that digital computers changed virtually every aspect of our life. Well, the arrival of quantum computers could be even more historic than that. We're now in the initial stages of the next revolution. We're talking about a new generation of computers, the ultimate computer, a computer that computes on atom, the ultimate constituents of matter itself. The question is, who's involved in this race to perfect quantum computers? And the answer is everyone. All the big players are part of this race because if they're not, Silicon Valley could become the next Rust Belt. Also, anyone who's interested in security is interested in quantum computers. They can crack almost any code that is based on digital technology. That's why the FBI, the CIA, and all national governments are following this very closely. Quantum computers will change everything. The economy, how we solve problems, the way we interact with the universe, you name it, quantum computers will be there. 2024 is seen as the beginning of the quantum era. But this change is not just happening in research labs and big tech companies. It will affect our everyday life, too. From our smartphones to national security, quantum computing is becoming a part of everything. But there are risks, too. As we get closer to this big change, we have to think about cybersecurity. The ways we protected our online information before might not work against the power of quantum computing. Governments and big countries know this and are getting ready for a future where quantum computing could be both good and bad. People have different opinions about this new era of quantum computing. Some say we shouldn't worry about it too much and take it slow. Others say we should get ready now by changing the security methods that quantum computing can't break. By changing to security methods that quantum computing can't break. There are also practical voices reminding us that while quantum computing has a lot of potential, it's still early days. We should have a balanced approach, recognizing both its possibilities and its current limits. In this situation, quantum computing can both make our digital world stronger and cause problems. One thing is clear, the story of quantum computing is just getting started. When we think about the future of quantum computing, we see a world changed by its mysterious power, for better or worse. In the world of keeping digital information safe, quantum computing is the new big thing. It holds great promise, but it also worries those in charge of protecting our online world. We should look at this quantum challenge not with fear, but with smart planning. Quantum technology is still new, but it hints at a future where our current security might not be enough. This is not reason to lose hope, but to get ready. Both groups and individuals can make their online defenses stronger against the quantum wave. Imagine a world where our private information is kept safe by codes that can't be broken, thanks to quantum technology. Networks and systems that used to be weak could become strong against quantum attacks if we protect them well. The fight is not just about technology, it's about people too. Teaching the protectors of our online world about good security habits is a key defense against tricky emails and scams. But quantum computing is not just a source of problems, it's a sign of progress. It has the power to change many industries, and keeping information safe is just the beginning of its journey. As we stand at the start of this quantum era, we're not just watching, we are part of shaping a future where quantum computing doesn't just challenge our security, but also makes it better and stronger. The start of better encryption with quantum technology signals a new era of strong and smart security. The road ahead is complicated. It's a mix of being careful and brave, of facing risks and finding rewards. In this story of quantum computing, every discovery, every careful step we take, is creating a future where safety and progress go together. The quantum age is almost here. It's time to respond with careful planning new ideas, and a strong will to keep our digital future safe. Can you imagine if there was a way to cut through all the confusion, bringing us really smart people and understand their worries and predictions about the future? Guess what? A group in the UK has actually managed to do just that, and their work is getting a lot of people talking. They've started a journey, kind of like the ancient oracle of Delphi's task of revealing secrets. But this time, they're trying to uncover what the future holds for artificial intelligence, or AI. 
This research isn't ordinary at all. It's a thorough examination of what 12 highly respected experts think using a famous approach called the Delphi Method. Imagine a process as mysterious as the Oracle of Delphi herself, where the thoughts of these experts are layered and challenged through a bunch of interviews. It's like having a group of really smart people, each making the other's ideas sharper, and together they form a clear picture of what tomorrow might look like. Their goal? To uncover what the world of future technology, especially software, might look like, aiming for the year 2040. And the things they're finding out are as interesting as they are worrisome. Picture a future where competing for the top spot in AI isn't just between companies, but a huge game being played by countries like the USA and China. What's at risk? Well, a lot, because experts suggest there might be risky shortcuts taken in making AI safe. And those could lead us to really dangerous situations. People um, underestimate the, the capability, capability of AI. They sort of think like it's a smart human. Um, but it's, it's, it's really much, it's going to be much more than that. Um, it'll be much smarter than the smartest human. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be like, you know, if, like, can a chimpanzee really understand humans? Not really, you know. They're just, we just seem like strange aliens. Um, well, they mostly just care about other chimpanzees. Uh, and, uh, this will be how it is, more or less, in a relative... Inter in fact, if, it's, if, if the difference is only that small, that would be amazing. Probably it's much, much greater. So... Like, the, like the, the biggest mistake that I see artificial intelligence researchers making is assuming that they're intelligent. Yeah, they're not, compared to AI. And so they, a lot of them cannot imagine something smarter than themselves, but AI will be vastly smarter, vastly. The report vividly describes this future with a chart that's full of colors showing when the experts agree or disagree. Blue means they agree, orange means they don't, and white is for those who are still thinking it over. In this colorful mix, a scary word stands out. Mega death. This term, which we usually only hear when referring to heavy metal music, now points to a scary possibility in the world of AI, with some experts thinking that there could be massive disasters, while others are more cautious, expecting a significant but smaller number of problems. We're headed towards either superintelligence or civilization ending. Those are those like the two things that are like it, that, that'll happen. Intelligence will keep advancing. The only thing that would prevent from advancing is, is something that puts civilization into stasis or destroys civilization. So then we have to figure out what is a world that would, we would like to be in where there is this um, uh, digital superintelligence. Um, I think the, uh, and, then, and then another point that I think is really important to appreciate is that um, we are, all of us already are cyborgs. Um, so you have a machine extension of yourself in the form of your, your phone and your computer and all your applications. You are already superhuman. But by far, you have more, more power, more capability than the President of the United States had you know, 30 years ago. Um, if you have an internet link, uh, you, you have an oracle of wisdom, you can communicate to millions of people, you can communicate to the rest of Earth instantly. Um, I mean, these are magical powers uh, that didn't exist not that long ago. So everyone is already superhuman uh, and a cyborg. In the midst of these serious predictions, there's a bit of agreement about the start of quantum computing, a technology that's just beginning to show its potential by 2040. But even on this topic, the experts carefully balance their, their agreement with disagreements, analyzing the subtle details of a technology that might change everything. As the story of the future starts to unfold, one thing is clear. The path we're on is filled with both exciting opportunities and serious risks. It's a story that grabs our attention and is really important, pushing us to pay attention, think carefully, and maybe even change the direction we're heading in. The thing is that, that I think are really quite, quite likely is that digital intelligence will out, be able to outthink us. Uh, in, in every way, and it will soon be able to simulate what we consider consciousness. Uh, so, to, to a degree that you would not be able to tell the difference. If you can't tell the difference, and this is sort of 
the, the Turing test, but think of a more sort of advanced version of the Turing test. If, you, if, if, you're, if you're talking to a, d a digital super intelligence and can't tell if that is a computer or a human, like let's say you're just having a conversation over a phone or a video conference or something where you're, you're, you think you're talking, lo looks like a person, makes all of the right uh, uh, inflections and movements and, and all the small subtleties that constitute a uh, human uh, and uh, talks like a human, makes mistakes like a human, like at that, and, and you literally just can't tell, is this, are you video conferencing with a person or, or a, an AI? In the world of technology, where everything is always changing so fast, a group of forward-thinking people are looking ahead to what things might be like in 2040. Their insights offer a glimpse into a world that's both amazing and a bit scary, a world where it's hard to tell what's real and what's made by AI. Think about a place where truth and make-believe are dangerously mixed together, all controlled by AI. A new kind of battlefield appears in the digital world, where armies of AI create fake things as easily as an artist paints, while their opponents, the digital guards, try hard to find truth among all the lies. The risk of making mistakes is huge, and it could wrongly label the truth as a lie. This isn't just a dark story of control and watching everyone, like in George Orwell's books. It's more like the worlds created by Philip K. Dick, full of twisted realities where you're never sure what is real. Like in the stories, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Or the movie Blade Runner. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. It will cause damage or death. There will be an outcry. It could start a war or something. Like it's just it, like it's like whatever drives the clicks, it will do. It's too late. I mean, humans have been the smartest creature on Earth for a long time, and that is going to change with the, what's typically called artificial general intelligence. Uh, so this is, say, an AI that is uh, smarter than a human in every way. Could could even simulate a human. Uh, so. You know, th th this is something we should be concerned about. I think there should be uh, government oversight of uh, AI developments, um, especially uh, super advanced AI. It's just, this is anything that is a potential uh, da danger to the public. We generally agree that this should have uh, government oversight to ensure that the, the public safety is taken care of. Are people more inclined to listen today? It seems like an issue that's brought up more often over the last few years than it was maybe five, ten years ago, it seemed like science fiction. Maybe they will. So far, they haven't. I think people don't, like, the, normally the way that regulations work is very slow. Very slow indeed. So, usually there'll be something, some new technology. It will cause damage or death, there will be an outcry, there will be an investigation, years will pass, there will be some sort of insight committee, there will be rulemaking, then there will be oversight, eventually regulations. This all takes many years. This is the normal course of things. If you look at, say, automotive regulations, how long did it take for seatbelts to be, to be implemented, to be required? After many, many people died, regulators insisted on deep belts. Oof, this is a, this time frame is not relevant to AI. You can't take 10 years from the point at which it's dangerous. It's too late. Out people, of control people, countdown? Out of control. Yeah. People call it the singularity. And, uh, that's, that's probably a good way to think about it. It's, it's a singularity. It's hard to predict like a black hole. What, what happens past the event horizon? Right. It's so different. once it's implemented, it's very different because it, it will once be able to. out of the bottle, what's right. going to happen? And it will be able to improve itself. Right. Yes. But this future picture isn't just about AI tricking us. It also tells stories of a new kind of digital economy where owning things and wealth aren't just about physical stuff, but are part of the internet itself through something called 
token ship. This new idea, known to many as NFTs, is changing everything, moving away from the traditional blockchain to a more flexible and active digital world. The blockchain, once seen as a groundbreaking technology, now faces questions about its lasting importance, fading away like the last star as the morning comes. The story becomes even more complex as the design of software grows into a maze that's too complicated to even understand, like a puzzle from a story by Franz Kafka. In this tangled web, it's incredibly hard to tell if mistakes are made on purpose or are just accidental errors in the programming. It's like a puppet show where the strings are so knotted that even the puppet master can't find his way. In this uncertain landscape, the wise are calling for solid ground rules to make AI safer. You can make a swarm of assassin drones by just taking the Face ID chip that's used in cell phones and uh, having a small explosive charge and a, and a standard drone and have them just do a grid sweep of the building until they find the person they're looking for, ram into them and, ex and explode. You can do that right now. No extra, no new technology is needed. Right now. Elon Musk's words illustrate a frightening potential of existing technology. While currently the risk of such a dark scenario is limited, it's a wake-up call that underscores our shared responsibility to guide the future of tech towards safety and shared benefit. We cannot let fear rule us, but we must let it motivate us to action. Efforts to make sure people are responsible for what happens in the digital world, and a fresh focus on education and social sciences to guide us through these unknown waters. But often, their smart advice is ignored, drowned out by the noise of chasing after progress and money. We shouldn't overlook a hidden danger that's slowly shaking the foundation of what we know. The ghost of AI helping people cheat in academics. The spread of fake studies and made-up data is like a quiet disease infecting the heart of scientific conversation. It's like a dark cloud hanging over the sacred process of checking facts, a risk that might cause the whole structure of truth to collapse. Do machines dream of electric sheep? And if they do, what kind of stories are in their dreams? Standing at the edge of this new era, it's hard not to think about these deep mysteries. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Your support helps us continue exploring these vital topics. And before you go, ponder this. In a world where AI's influence keeps growing, how close are we to the point where it's not just assisting, but controlling? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section down below.